guys and welcome to the Bayern View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we're going to be doing the press conference for uh, Vincent Company. Uh, obviously, he's been speaking in the media ahead of the game tomorrow, uh, which obviously is the um, home game versus Una Berlin. So yeah, we, we that's what we're going to react to. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below on what he's had to say, which we get into in a second. Uh, as always, please do smash the thumbs up helps a lot if you're new hit the subscribe button this is the best buy munich fan channel out there so hit the damn subscribe button if you haven't already let me know what you think and uh, obviously the socials are above all always so yeah big up to everybody thank you for the support on the channel people muchly and greatly appreciate and um yeah let's let's um let's get straight into it so obviously like i said that he's obviously been speaking in the in the um press room Speaking ahead of the game against Ulla Berlin this weekend, well, I say this weekend, which it is right to say that, but it's tomorrow, basically. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, guys, are all doing well. Hopefully, guys, if you did celebrate Halloween, had a fantastic day. Uh, and, um, yeah, without further ado, let's go. So, he's been speaking in the media. Uh, first thing was on debt of Mancano and uh, Dyer's injuries. He said, it's a pity when players are unavailable. Uh, we have 18 fit players, so I have 18 options uh, for the position. Uh, there uh, have uh, obviously been a lot of games in the last few weeks. I have full confidence in the other boys and in uh, the other boys and in the squad. Eric Dyer and Mancano are, uh, are not the only players missing in this position, but we don't want uh, to look for excuses. Okay, so... If those two miss. Oh, please don't play Goretzka at centre back. Please, 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 please don't play Goretzka at centre back. Also, what do you mean by eighteen fit players? So I have eighteen options for the position. You're going to put Harry Kane at centre back, huh? I'm a bit confused. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. I don't know. Uh, then he was asked about uh, the foul on uh, Muziala, the Cologne player. Uh, if you haven't seen it, he may as well have like. RKO'd uh, Muziala generally. Um, and the player asking for prote uh, protection. I uh, said, so We don't uh, have uh, to change the rules uh, for a player, but the intention um, is important. The referee has to make the decision. He uh, has to feel how uh, a player goes into a challenge during the game. We, uh, as a team and club, think uh, that players like Jamal Muziala are important. We have to deal with it properly. And to be honest with you, Generally speaking, I'm not even trying to be rude. Um, generally speaking, like, I'm not even trying to be rude, not just because it's Jamal. If it was a Bayern player that did it to Phil Foden or, or whoever, it doesn't matter who it is. That is a foul. Literally, if you go back and look at it, Jamal Muziala flips around and he's not doing a Neymar and rolling around like a little pussy. He generally gets, like, fucking bulldozed. It's mad. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Jamal seems fine, so that's that's all the mass. Uh, but yeah, it definitely needs to um, be um, uh, looked at, to be honest. And the referee has to not be a fraud in that position. Um, I think there's some work going on outside, so sorry if it is loud. But yeah, let's continue. Um, company on picking the starting wingers, he said, it's not difficult. It's important that uh, we have everybody available at the moment. You can uh, only pick two wingers so far. Uh, all four have done uh, well and are uh, about the same level. There's not much difference in the level, uh, but uh, a bit in the profile. So he said they're a little bit different in the profiles. People need to stop asking him. The media needs to stop asking him about these wingers because he says the same answer every time. I generally feel like I've just read the, read the same thing. What's that? Someone... Okay, so I'm doing something on my Instagram. Um, all right, let's continue. Then, uh, Mr. Peter Griffin himself, Max Herbal. Um, is there any donuts on that table? No. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Max Herbal on contract talks with Muziale, so we're doing our job. <laughs> <laughs> Next joke, dickhead. Uh, we are holding uh, talks in the background. We will announce something when there's something to announce. Of course, both parties are, have their desire. Uh, there's a squad plan for next few years. We are considering it, whether it's Jamal, Joshua, Leroy, Man Manuel or Alfonso. We're in good talks. Well, you're not in good talks with Alfonso Davies, so don't fucking lie. Joshua Kimmich needs to play right back or fuck off. Jamal Maziala needs to sign on. 
Leroy Sane needs to fuck off. And Mamon Noya needs to stay for a year and retire. So, yeah, but we are doing our job. Yeah, all right then, bro. All right. And I, I'm a fucking fitness instructor. Have you seen the size of me? You twat. Fucking clown. Um, then company on Una Berlin's performances this season. He said, I have no control over the opponent. I know uh, they have done well so far. Uh, they are up there. And we are not underestimating them. But the game is about us. The The joy of playing the game has to come from us, uh, which I agree. Hopefully our strengths will uh, be uh, the difference tomorrow. You can see that uh, they are very strong in the defense and on the counter. Basically, company, don't play a high line because you're going to get countered. Um, this is a team that knows uh, what it has to do. But in the end, it's a game at home. And that's the priority, which it should be, 100%. Uh, I agree. Then he was speaking about Matthias Tau and his situation. I do. I have actually made a full video, and it's on the channel for you guys. I made six videos. The Diego Costa one's already out. Uh, so there's five more videos to come, not necessarily today, but in general over the next couple of days. Um about the loan situation and so on but yeah he the, the manager went on to say we've uh, scored 13 goals or so in the last three games so far uh everybody in the team has uh, contributed to uh, where uh, we are now we believe that everyone will play a role in the end matthias is doing very well uh, and that's why he keeps getting his chances here uh he's still a very young player we are a group and everybody is a part of it okay fair enough at the same time, though, what do you mean he keeps getting his chances? Because that uh, it's only been um, the last two games you've actually given them a chance. So what do you mean? What like is that what you mean? Uh, I'm a bit confused uh, on that. I think he needs to go on that. Right uh, on Alfonso, he said I heard that he wasn't so good last season, but I didn't notice uh, any anything. Um, any of that he's an absolute top player he should continue this way but he he can also still develop uh he can go up a level that's uh what i enjoy as a coach his consistency is very good at the moment it is i agree i i will agree with that alfonso davies is the best left back in the world right now at the same time though he's a prick um he just is what okay yeah, i just read that twice um then he was asked, will uh, Uthman Khan and, and Daya be available for tomorrow? So the tendency looks positive for both of them. Nevertheless, I give myself until tomorrow to make a decision. Leon Goretzka also did very well against Mites. We have a lot of players who are very flexible. Uh, I hope everybody is fit, but I also have confidence in the other guys. Bro, please, 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 please don't play Goretzka at centre-back, bruv. Bro, I would rather the Gerd Muller statue rest his soul, by the way. Rest in peace to Gerd Muller. But bro, I would rather his fucking statue outside the Allianz Arena play centre-back than Goretzka. Goretzka is a fucking statue. He can't run for shit. Um, wow. Anyway, uh, company on Bayern's strong attack this season. He said we'll stay, uh, we stay calm. Uh, we can uh, see that uh, the team is getting better uh, and can... Uh, get even better. That's our focus. Una Berlin have the second best defence in the league. Maybe we need to step up a gear and score goals tomorrow. Uh, we want uh, to give everything uh, we've got and hopefully pick up a win. Uh, not hopefully pick up a win. You better win. Um, I don't give a shit about their defensive record, by the way. We've got the best attack and one of the best attacks in Europe. We have the best striker in the world, Harry Kane. He didn't get a Gerd Muller, Gerd Muller um, award at the Ballon d'Or um, award ceremony for nothing. He got that because he's the best striker in the world. If Mbappe doesn't want to turn up because he's a little bitch and he's always offside, then that's Mbappe's fault. Um, so, you know what I mean? If he if he wants to be a Real Madrid, Real Madrid, fuck Madrid, yeah? If he don't want to turn up and be a little pussy, oh, Vinny, Vinny should have won. Then fuck him. Harry Kane gets that trophy. He ain't sharing shit if he ain't there. It is what it is. He didn't win it for me. He won there. 
Um, you know what I mean? So anyway, company on the training uh, uh, rebound and the tapping uh, tapping goals. He said you consistently repeat uh, the mov uh, movement patterns. We've got uh, we have good examples here like Thomas Muller, Harry Kane. Uh, we need uh, as many guys as possible who believe in recognizing these situations, which I 100% agree with. And that basically is it for the press conference um, reaction. So let me know what you guys think. Again, smash up the likes if you haven't already. Thank you for the constant support. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, obviously, like I said, we released a video on Diego Diego Costa, the goalkeeper, Porter keeper, uh, earlier. Go and check that out. This video obviously coming. Then I've got um, a stream later um, on Zia Talks, um, which is obviously the European heavyweight show. Um, and I'll be on there from the, from the jump because I'm going to have to jump off because then we've got a stream here at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, can't speak. Uh, UK time, uh, where we're going to be doing a, a debate of company in, company out, uh, which should be interesting. Um, but either way, big up to everybody. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. Much and greatly appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your day. Maybe I'll see you later. Mia Samia. Peace.